NSAIDs. So NSAIDs are a class of medication that are prescription or over-the-counter that are primarily used for the treatment of pain and inflammation. They can also be used to reduce fever, although they are not effective as something like acetaminophen or Tylenol in reducing fever. Um, we use NSAIDs uh, to treat uh, acute uh, pain or muscle aches, such as a, an acute muscle strain, something that has happened in the short term. We also use it to treat chronic pain, such as arthritic pain, uh, arthritis, osteoarthritis, uh, long-standing uh, joint disease or degenerative joint disease. So they're used uh, for both acute and chronic pain. So let's talk a little bit about the nomenclature. You know, when you talk about NSAIDs, you're, uh, the, it's commonly you think about ibuprofen, uh, over-the-counter ibuprofen. Um, and then there's more prescription-type medications such as uh, diclofenac or uh, uh, Mobic. So let's talk a little bit about it and, and what, what some of the um, types are, are types of NSAIDs that are available uh, by prescription as well as over-the-counter. Uh, ibuprofen. This is over-the-counter. Uh, some uh, trade, uh, some brand names that are Motrin and Advil uh, is what is uh, commonly available. There's also naproxen. Naproxen, uh, the brand name is Aleve. It is also a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, uh, similar to ibuprofen. Uh, so those are some of the uh, common over-the-counter regimens that you will see, or over-the-counter medications that you will see. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, prescriptions that are available. Uh, Voltaren is the brand name of a common non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. It also goes by the generic name of diclofenac. Uh, another prescription uh, medication that's available to you is uh, non-steroidal that's available to you is Mobic. That's the brand name. And the uh, d generic name is Meloxicam. Uh, there is also Toradol, uh, which can be given by injection. That's the brand name, and the generic name is Ketorolac. So those are some of the uh, uh, non-steroidals uh, that are prescription. We also have some uh, non-steroidals that are used more long-term, and uh, Celebrex uh, is one of them. That's the brand name. There was also a Vioxx, which was taken off the market several years ago, uh, and I'll go into why that was, but in a nutshell, there was increased risk of coronary artery disease with uh, Vioxx, uh, so it was taken off. The interesting thing is, in all the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, there's an increased risk for, um, for developing coronary artery disease. And that's really what, what I want to talk to you about. I want to explain to you that, yes, these NSAIDs are available to you over the counter and by prescription, and yes, they are useful in treating acute and chronic uh, pain, arthritic pains, by decreasing inflammation. But they are not without side effects, not without risks, and I want you to know about them because they're significant risks, uh, and let's go over them. Um, there's a few points that I'd like to highlight before I start. What I, what I want you to understand is when you take non-steroidals for a long period of time, and what I mean by long period of time is for more than a week or more than 10 days, you have an increased risk of gastrointestinal bleeding. You have an increased risk of kidney problems or renal failure. You have an increased risk of bleeding. You have an increased risk of coronary artery disease. And you have an increased risk of developing elevated blood pressure or hypertension. So let's talk about this. Um, when you are uh, taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, you should think about, okay, what am I using this? I'm using this to control my pain and to decrease inflammation. I want to take that for, I want to take this medicine for a short period of time. I want to take it continuously um, in an order to decrease inflammation. So I tell people, you know, if you're going to take something like Motrin or ibuprofen, take 600 milligrams, 400 or 600 milligrams, three times a day for seven to 10 days, and then stop it completely. Do not continue to take it indefinitely um, because of the side effects um, I mentioned earlier and then I'll go through. So have a clear plan. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatories are not something that you want to 
take. You don't want to pop these pills on a daily basis uh, because of their significant side effects. So let's talk initially about uh, GI side effects. We know that these medications increase your risk for gastritis, irritation of the lining of the uh, gastrointestinal tract, increased risk of ulcers, in uh, stomach ulcers or GI ulcers, and increased risk of gastrointestinal bleeding. It is not uncommon when I'm in the hospital to admit patients into the hospital from the emergency room, come in complaining of abdominal pain or black stool or blood in the stool or abdominal cramping. Um, we bring them in, their hemoglobin and hematocrit, their blood counts are very low because they've been bleeding. And we probe them and we ask a few more questions and what do we find out? Well, they've been taking ibuprofen or they've been taking diclofenac for one month, three months, six months, a year. Um, you know, goody powders is another one that I didn't mention earlier, but these medications are, um, uh, are associated with gastrointestinal complications and gastrointestinal bleeding. So, you know, if you are taking these medicines and you develop any kind of GI problem, stop it immediately. The most important thing that I can tell you when you're taking non anti-inflammatories to prevent gastritis is always, always, always take these medicines on a full stomach. Never take it on an empty stomach. Um, that's the best thing I can tell you, and then take it for a short period of time. Let's talk about kidney issues. Uh, there is increased risk. Well, first of all, if you have uh, renal issues, if you have kidney problems, if you have acute renal failure or chronic kidney, uh, renal failure or, or chronic kidney disease, you should never take uh, non steroidal anti inflammatories. You should not uh, take this medication at all, prescription or over the counter. Uh, if you don't have kidney problems and you take uh, non steroidal anti inflammatories for a long period of time, even a short period of time, your risk of developing acute coronary, I'm sorry, acute kidney injury is high. So be very cautious uh, in taking these medications because they can affect your kidneys. Um, let's talk a little bit about coronary artery disease. Non steroidal anti inflammatories have for a long time been known to increase your risk of developing coronary artery disease or stroke. Um, and I'll talk briefly about, you know, the Vioxx that I mentioned earlier. Celebrex and Vioxx are non-steroidal anti-inflammatories that work really well for anti-inflammatory, and they have much less gastrointestinal side effects. So they are less likely to cause the gastrointestinal illnesses. So people can take these for a long period of time. What they found were that people, uh, what, what they found was that people who were taking these medicines for a long period of time had a higher risk of developing coronary artery disease, having a heart attack, or having a stroke. And so Vioxx, uh, many years ago, was take, which is one of these uh, non steroidals was taken off, taken off the market because of that. Celebrex, a similar medicine, um, uh, falls into a category of non steroidal of COX-2 inhibitors, was not taken off the market, but still, uh, while it does have less gastrointestinal side effects, if you take it for a long period of time, increased risk of coronary artery disease and stroke. So caution with that. Anybody who has a, a history of coronary artery disease or risk factors for coronary artery disease, I recommend that they not stay on this medication for a long period of time. They use it for short courses as needed. Uh, let's talk about bleeding. Increased risk for bleeding is associated with non -steroidal. So after surgery, you should not use non -steroidals. Um, too soon after surgery and you use it only in bursts. Talk to your surgeon if you um, are thinking about using non after um, surgery. If, also, if you are on any blood thinners like Coumadin or Warfarin, um, it is best not to use uh, these medications, uh, non steroidals, because of the increased risk for bleeding. Um, the other issue is elevated blood pressure. So, not in every patient, but in many patients, when they uh, uh, begin using uh, non steroidal anti inflammatories for a short course or a long course can have elevated blood pressure. So I tell my patients, hey, if you're going to start taking these non steroidals, either come back in the clinic in a week and let me check your blood pressure or check your blood pressure at home. Let's make sure it's not uh, causing an elevated blood pressure. So talk to your uh, doctor um, when you're taking non steroidals and, and really have a discussion. Let them know how much you're using these medications and, and let them you know, have that frank discussion with you when they review your, your medical history and that, that way they can tell you in an educated fashion, hey, you should not use this anymore or you should, you're using it too much or you're using it just right. But, but be aware that non-steroidal anti-inflammatories um, are not without uh, significant side effects.